Welcome to Pop-Up Tech Talks. I'm Amy Lewis with NetApp SolidFire, and I'm here with Doug. Doug, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I am Doug Hazelman, the VP of Product Strategy at Veeam Software, and uh, sometimes they call me the Chief Evangelist as well. I, I'm no, I know that's not necessarily a good title to have these days, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a Geek Whispers episode. Um, so, we were talking about orchestration, and uh, I love what you were saying. We, we've got a little bit of demystifying about this of, you know, all the vendors have it, but are the customers using it? So what's your position on this? Yeah, I mean, orchestration is always kind of like that holy grail where, you know, you've got all these different products that can do all these great things. All you do is you plug in some policies and, you know, you add a new VM and all this magical stuff just happens. Um, and it all sounds great, but at the end of the day, it's not always necessarily the easiest thing to implement. Um, and if you, if you look at what, you know, Cisco's done with UCS and run UCS Director. You know, we've got our own orchestration product coming out. It, it's kind of how do we how do we make it so that it's it's easy to use without requiring you know months and months of kind of training and learning. And you know, one of the things I think is is important is to have you know kind of a community for the orchestration scripts and to be able to understand, hey, these are different things that other people are doing and, and plug these types of things in. So, you know, whether it's your whether you're orchestrating your, your network or your, your your storage or your compute or or even your availability, you know, it's, it's kind of a, a lot of different things that need to be done. It sounds a lot like this is part of the revolution between the hardware and software. Do you see this as part of uh, you know that movement as we become a more software centric industry in some ways? Yeah, I mean, everything is, you know, obviously everything's always been about software, but as we look at solutions, you know, with, with converged infrastructure like FlexPod and, you know, even hyper-converged infrastructure, you know, around um, Cisco HyperFlex, you know, a, a lot of that stuff is really being defined in the software now, and that's, that's where the orchestration comes in. I mean, the hardware, you know, is great, but it's kind of second thought in terms of the software that, that's running it and, and, and doing a lot of orchestration in itself. So it's definitely a software-defined world. So what's your prediction for 2016? If it's uh, is this the single pane of glass? <laughs> single pane in the what? <laughs> well done, well done. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I hate the I hate the single pane of glass. You know, as, as as a lot of people do, because it's just not it's not. I, I, I'm I don't know, I'm trying to think of the word. It's just it's not realistic. Um, you know, you've got a lot of different things from a lot of different vendors, and and everybody all wants it to work together, but. And, and everybody wants just one interface, but at the end of the day, you know, one interface can only do so much, and you always have to eventually go down to some of the other interfaces and, and do some other things and other products. Um, orchestration can help because it can, you know, remove a little bit of that layer, so you don't have to go down into the other interfaces near as much. But I think we're always going to have multiple interfaces. I don't think we're ever going to get to that holy grail single pane of glass. So uh, we've been having a lot of conversation at this Cisco Live about um, Pokemon. It's uh, timely, right? <laughs> do you think? Do you think this is going to affect? Uh, how? Do, what kind of impact do you think it's going to have on our world going forward? Have we changed fundamentally? Have we created a monster? <laughs> well, I don't know if we've created a monster. It's just, it's kind of funny. Um, I don't know if you ever played Ingress, right? So I mean, Pokemon is basically a rebranding of an existing product called Ingress. And, but Ingress was kind of a, a nerdy type of thing. It never caught on you know, in the popular culture like Pokemon has. has. And you know, if you think about it from a pivot perspective, what Nitanic did with Pokemon Go by, by taking Ingress and kind of pivoting it to this pop culture Pokemon that you know, everybody who's over 30 remembers from being a kid, you know, it's, kind of, it, it's, it's really like a classic pivot. So I, I think it's a r really pretty cool. So is that what we're going to see more of in uh, 2016? Are we all going to be virtualized? Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, every everything old is new again. Yeah. You know, so it, it, whether it's a movie, whether it's a game, you know, or or whether it's you know the the industry in general, uh, everything everything old is new. So true. Thank you so much, Doug. No problem. Thank you. And we'll see you next time on Pop Up Tech Talks.